about to drop a public service announcement real quick for y'all, man. And this is something that gotta be said, but a lot of people don't understand. If you play me and you beat me, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. I want everybody to get better at this game. I done played my subs and stuff over and over. I played JP Town against him very nearly every time I turn my game on. He pull up and he plays me and he says, good game, Jay. And then after the game is over, he and I play. But it's a genuine good game. You understand what I'm saying? It's a genuine good game. He messages me on Twitter. He talks to me on Instagram. I talk to him almost every day. He be like, hey, if you running the night, holler at your boy. I like to play with you or I can play against you. It don't matter to me, but I just want a good game. That's it. He never owned no fly stuff. He's never owned no crazy weirdo stuff. He's just a cool ass dude. I played with a dude earlier today. When I played with this guy, we got, we got, he had played a hundred, he had played 80, 81 games. And no, nah, I played probably about 75 because he and I, we lost like two. When we finished, he played, he had played, he had won no games at all. I got on the mic, I started blessing him out. Yo, man, you gotta get better. You gotta, he said, bro. And this is my guy, Get Some, man. I played the game with him yesterday. Uh, we, him, Me and him had a ball. Uh, I talked to him, I talked to his son, all this stuff, man, it was just great. This is the reason that I continue to do YouTube because him and his son was so genuine when I talked to him. I played against him and then I played with him. He said, I'm a fan, bro. I didn't even know that that was you. This, to me, was a blessing. You made my day, you made my weekend, you made my son's day, you made my son's weekend just by playing with you. I don't be on, y'all, bro, y'all know I don't be on no fly shit or nothing like that when I play this game. Only thing I be trying to do is play with people, show people how to play, let's get better, let's figure some stuff out together and all that. But anyway, the dude I was playing with Loso, so he didn't have no wins before that. He says, yo, bro, you mad or something? He's like, I don't even play this game like that, I just got it. And I was like, you know what, that's what people love, because you know, I'm thinking typical 2K guy, that's what everybody say when they losing. He's like, no, for real. I just played a game. I just got it. I ain't even done nothing. And I don't even, I haven't even found a jump shot yet. I said, what? He said, yeah, bro, I don't even play this game. I was like, well, you know what? I'm going to run with you a few games and let's get some wins. He had no wins before that. We got 19 wins together tonight. Probably won 19 out of 22. I think we lost four all together. And the four that we lost, were to some lame ass dudes that just kept pulling up, kept pulling up. We go from court to court and we like, yo, I'm like, yo, I'm just playing with my man, man. I'm not on nothing like, like I thought you was comp. How am I gonna be comp playing with somebody with a 10? At that time, he probably had a 10 win percentage. I'm trying out a new jump shot right here, man. I was trying to find some new jump shots for big man. And, um, so my guy gets some was really doing all the carrying and all that good stuff but the thing of it was you know i was just like i gotta i gotta contribute in other ways so and tonight i was trying out a new jump shot tonight too and then you know i switched back to my to my good old ray allen i was hitting but i had a theory right i had a theory that if you have if you shoot a set shot as a big man then it'll be more consistent i guess that's that's not it because it really just comes down to what you're used to, what you're comfortable with and all that stuff. But the whole point of that is, man, look, if you're looking for a YouTuber to play games against and build your cloud up and your rep off, I'm not the one, dog. I play with nothing but randoms. Nobody's going to respect the first of all, I'm the worst player in the entirety of the 2K community. That's number one. I get carried by T every game we play. And all I do is sit in the corner and shoot threes when I do get the ball. And then I just, I, then the other the other 50% of the time I'm playing defense, but if I didn't play defense, we'll still get, we, we, we would still win the game. So that's how I'm getting carried, like I, according to y'all. So why would anybody want to try to pull up on me when you know for 100% that I'm playing with randoms? It's beyond me. Like, 
I, I, you, like, it's just like when them dudes pulled up on Brute last year and they knew Brute was playing with randoms. Like, bro, we play with nothing but randoms. We don't play with no specific squad. We don't play with no this person, that person all the time. And I'm still able to hold over an 80 win percentage. And I play center, a shooting center. And I can hold over an 80 win percentage with that. Do y'all understand, like, how easy this game is? Look, I want to try to take a shot, man. But I just, I can't, I couldn't hit it because... I was using jump shot 24 and with jump shot 24 to make you step in and stuff. But I like, I just don't be getting it though. Like, are people really that thirsty for some type of clout, some type of fame, some type of anything? Like, like this is what you're going against right here. Like I said, I just get carried by T every game we play. I might hit that one right there. Bro, oh no, I think my boost was out. I don't know what was going on. I know I was trying out a new jump shot and I just couldn't get it together that game. But y'all normally hear me say I turn up for competition. I do this and that. But the fact of the matter is, when you're trying out a new jump shot and you're playing with people that you've never played with before, it's hard to turn up. Like, how you gonna turn up for competition or really do anything or make a make a make a, a difference when you're playing with a person who has never won a game? Now the dude cool as hell. I'm not gonna lie, Loso Chucky is cool as hell. And I enjoy playing with him, so I'm going to be playing with him a lot more because he's just that cool of a dude that I'm not even worried about if we win or lose. I just want to play with my boy. He's just the nicest person. Like, he's one of the nicest people I ever met. Same thing with Get Some. He wanted to, him and his son, the nicest people I've really ever met on this 2K thing. And when you get with an older crowd and stuff, that's what it is. That's what it really seems to be. But, like, these dudes on the spot, obviously they know who I am. I bet if I go check them, one of them's on my friends list, and they out here trying to get a cheap win. Now, these are not the guys, like I said, but, hey, it is what it is. I, I just don't get it, man. Like, I, I just, I, I, I really do not understand what it is that someone seeks to gain by playing people like, oh, well, you ain't gonna have no fun in this part. I don't care. It doesn't matter. This don't bother me. Listen, man. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Like, hey, look, man. I'm talking about these still gonna be 20s. I still got 20s. I still got good hair. I still got a gorgeous wife. I still got a nice job. I got all of that. So if I lose one or two games of 2K with some people who don't even really play like that because they are grown ass men that got jobs like me and all they trying to do is play with their favorite YouTuber here and there, if they see him, that's it. But if you wanna play, all you gotta do is send me a message and say, let's run sometime, I got you. You don't have to try to pull up and try to prove a point. And if you do pull up and you do play me and you say GG, I'm just gonna say GG back and I'm gonna be out. The problem that I have is when you pull up and you have some type of agenda and then your homeboys, or you pull up and your homeboys, I'm, I'm gonna play him. Oh, yeah, I want to play him, too. Okay, if you know your homeboys clearly have this green bean money team. Trades up! Splash down! I finally got the timing on my damn jump shot! But if you pull out, if you pull up and you got homeboys that clearly have some type of agenda and they make that agenda known and start all that talking and yapping and stuff, you're getting blocked along with them. I'm blocking you. I'm muting them. I'm blocking them. I'm unfriending you. And anybody who's associated with it. So if you pull up and you own that bullshit, and your and you know your homeboys own that bullshit, and they probably got bro, bro, it'd be so bad. It'd be the people with the worst records doing this stuff, man. And they be having the worst records imaginable. But it is what it is. Like I said, man, you pull up and you play me. You haven't accomplished much. There's nobody in the community that thinks I'm good. There's nobody in the community that believes any of this stuff, man. The only thing that you're going to get by beating me is you won a game of 2K, my dog. Like, it is what it is. And anybody's gonna tell you the same thing. If you don't see T Mizzle in the video when you beat me, if you don't see Brutal Sim or Nunu in the video when you beat me, if you don't see Nino in the video, then high count when you pull up with a squad and I'm playing with randoms with sub 50 win percentages. Or is that the whole, like these dudes right here, bro, look at this. Look at this. These dudes obviously saw me and pulled up. I was like, this is an easy win. This is a screenshot. This is all of that stuff. But sometimes it don't go the way that you planned it. 
because I don't talk and, and plus I do, and plus like nobody can ever say that I said anything to them first in game chat because I never talk in game chat. You could never say that I started it. You could never say that I was talking crazy. You could never say that because I don't even talk crazy to my teammates. All I do is play the game with my mic off and try to play. And they were getting killed by this in the beginning, man. But look, every now and then I will talk. But like I said, I'm playing with I'm playing with uh get you some, right? And um, and like I said, he just happened to be out here, man. He just happened to run with me. Now he's a good player, but the thing was, you know, you can be a good player but not be familiar, but you just might not have played enough games and you may not be familiar with the advanced tactics that some people are gonna try to employ against me. Like, like right here, I'm having to, like, I, I, I got to, look, I know he gonna let that dude go by him, so I have to play down low. I'm getting boards, I'm doing the best that I can do. But it's hard to carry from the center position, especially when nobody's gonna leave you open, or especially when they already got the scouting report I did not mean to go back up with that, but hey, it is what it is. I went back up with that one and scored it. Especially when you already got the scouting report that Jay can shoot, so don't leave him. But just defend the other two guys. That's double team them trying to make his guards do something silly. And look at that, man. Like, stuff like that, I, I don't know. That's that slithery finisher, man. It makes you jump when you don't even want to jump. And like I said, I'm not even playing. I'm dead serious, man. If you, bro... I, I just don't see it. Is that the epitome of lame or what? Y'all let me know. Because, like I said, I'm... This is why YouTubers... That, see, they got kicked. They kept getting killed on that cross. Most of y'all will be pulling your hair out right now. Like, bro, they keep getting killed on the cross. Most YouTubers don't play with randoms. They won't play with their, with their subs. They won't play with people like that. Why? Because they know... they. A lot of people covet their... First of all, they covet their sanity. Bro... I know a lot of people would have gone insane watching this over and over, watching them just get killed. And look, that's why you put perimeter defense on your center right there instead of not putting it on there because I got a 78% contest. Most centers can't even get uh, 45 on that one. But trays up, splash down. A lot of people can't, they, they, bro, they would be like, oh my God, I can't even deal with this. Look, after the fourth or fifth time that they got killed by that or something like that, this backdoor stuff, I'd be patient as hell just playing. But I ain't gonna never get no respect for that. With this game, if you're not playing with the best people that can carry you and make you look good and make you look way better than what you are, way better than what you are. Because that's what most people do. They play with the people that compliment their bill. And I'm not hating on that. That's smart. You should play with the people that compliment your bill that are actually good at the game. And that, you see, they, they just kept getting lost. But if you play with, you, you're supposed to play with people that compliment your builds and they're gonna help you win the game and you can win the most games and I guess you can get big on YouTube and stuff like that. That's never been my concern. And that's never been my concern to my detriment. Look, they got lost again. I'm I'm not even gonna pull my hair out. I, this is when I just got on the mic and said, hey guys, all they doing is crossing. Just stay on your side. You don't, you don't. And look, I didn't even say it in a, in a harsh way. You probably could have heard. I don't know if you could hear me just then. Trades up, splash down. I said, all they doing is crossing. Just stay on your side and then you're gonna be good. Like I'm just telling them just how to play. It. Don't 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 chase them through. Just just don't chase them through the screen. Stay where you are. Look at that. Look at the defense instantly get better because I told them what to do. I'm telling them I'm heads and I'm doing this and that. I got left side. I got right side. Yeah, stay with him. I'm you get through that. You can get through that. Don't I said don't foul. Now I did spam right now. I said, why you reach right now? We got him. We had it in six seconds. But I'm like, don't even worry about it, my dog. And like I said, me and get some probably won about 20 games after this. And we play, I think we won 20 and we we didn't even lose. Man, get you some, didn't even lose no games. We got off because we were watching the game. But it ain't gonna always be like this. I understand that when I play with subs, I play with fans, I play with anybody that just likes my content. You're going to play with people. And look, you took that shot. I ain't even getting mad. I, I might have said that's, that wasn't a good shot, but just get back and play defense, my boy. That's all you gotta do. And that's it. And look at this right here. He got shot credit. Look, he pulls up on him. He pulls up there. Look at the defense. Everybody's playing defense. Uh, Bobby Buckets, I don't know what he's doing, but you know, hey, it is what it is. But like I said, man, you haven't accomplished anything if you beat me. If you beat me, you beat me. If I'm playing with Team Mizzle and you beat me, then maybe you accomplish something. But other than that, you really haven't accomplished anything. Really, if you beat anybody, you haven't accomplished anything. It's just a game of 2K. But I just want to let y'all know, man, like I, I just don't understand the mental mentality of anybody 
that does it. Look at the defense by Gitchy Song. Now we couldn't get the board because we didn't have the uh we didn't have it. I just don't understand it. Is that I guess that's just look at it. Look at the switch. Look at the switch. Look at me get that defense. That's why you put that perimeter defense on, baby. 79% contest. Somebody else probably wouldn't even got that. Look at this thing, man. Look. Coaching these boys the victory. But like I said, it ain't always like that. You don't want, always want to be a coach. This is the thing. Y'all get to play the game, play bums over and over 100% of the time and do whatever you want to do and run around and run from games and do all of that and, and get to enjoy the game. Why can't I just enjoy the game? Like, why? Trey's up! Brett splash down, bro. That's a 75% bounce back and he made it. And like right here, I'm just saying, hey, just play. Stay on your side. That's when I smile. Stay on your side. Stay on your side. Just, there you go. Right there. Two people come. He got bad. He smoked it. Boom. It said wide open late, but we got blessed by the 2K guys. And then my boy just takes it on in for the filet. But look at this right here. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. This is how I know they pulled up on me with, with some type of agenda. Look at this. Like, like look. Look at this. Let me just show y'all something, man. And shout out to my boy. Like I said, look at this. He quit. This is how you know. Because he quit the game trying to preserve his legacy. That's how you know there's somebody that pulled up. And then you lost the game. What a bitch. It's always like this, man. People always do that. They either do that and then they try to dip out before you realize and then try to be like it was the bot. Or Bro, it wasn't the bot, man. And then after that, I tried to figure out who, who among them was on my team and all this stuff, man. But like I said, look, I enjoyed. I enjoyed playing with the dude, man. You don't have to be good. Like my boy Loso Chucky. He said he just started playing the game. He had nobody to play with. His win percentage ain't that great. His shot percentage ain't that great. I guarantee you, with him continuing to play with me and just learning things about the game and getting better, He's going to get so much better, y'all not even going to recognize him in about a week or so. I'm, I'm about to put him on to the best jump shots, to the best all of that. And he got my 3 and D bill. He, he's he got my 3 and D bill. So I already know what time it is. Like, like I'm just going to show him what he needs to do to get himself better. We're going to get him a jump shot. We're going to get him all his badges. We're going to do all of that man, uh, stuff, man, because dude was a cool dude, man. He was, he was one of the coolest... Dude, bro, I'm telling you, dude, one of the coolest cats I've ever played this game with. No lie. I got a friend in the neighborhood, most hated. That's you right there. But it just be like, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Like I said, I, I enjoy playing the game. I want people to be, you know what I'm saying? I, I want people to enjoy the game, but but when you when you come with some type of agenda and it's crazy, you're going to get blocked along with your homeboys. That's a fact. Like, that's that's what's going to happen. But anyway, man, I hope y'all understand what I'm trying to say, man. That's the reason that I don't play with fans and subs more than I do. But I really don't care. If people want... If people want to see... Um... Hey, if people want to just test their test they medal against me, man, look, this is me. I got an 82 win percentage, and all I play with is randoms when I'm not playing with T-Mizzle. I'm shooting 59% from, from three and 61 from the field, man. I don't, I don't play this game that much either. Look at this, Rick, 83. Like all this stuff, man, it don't matter, man. It, it really don't. I don't even care no more, man. Look, I, I, I don't care about any of this stuff anymore i want to play because 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 that's what people want to do i'm about to make me a point guard and i want to play with y'all if you're trying to run with me send me a message you already got a point guard send me a message i want to run with my subs and i want to run with y'all i want to kick back and be cool with some cool ass people and let's just have a good time i feel like that'll make my streams even better and all this stuff i don't want to play like i'm obviously i'm gonna play with t when t put the call out but y'all know what I'm saying, man. I'm not going to be like, I'm just going to exclusively play with them. Let's get together. Let's run these games. Uh, I'm going to put my Discord link down in the in the comment section so y'all can hit me up on there. Hit me up on Discord. Let's get the community together. Let's just run some games, man. And let's just have fun 
and show these people that you can grow a 2K community and it don't matter. Like I said, I already got the win percentage, but who the hell cares? I want to play with y'all and I'm no longer from this day on going to allow worrying about winning or none of that shit or people pulling up on us and none of that stuff, man. I'm not about to worry about this stuff no more because you're not going to pull up when I'm playing with T. You're not going to pull up when I'm playing with Black Rob. You're not going to pull up when I'm playing with my homeboy, um, I push square. I forgot what his name is, man. He changed his name a couple of times, man. But you're not gonna pull up when I'm playing with them. So why, why, why you? But why? But you gonna look at the people that I'm playing with and see that they don't have good win percentages and be like, yeah, this is the time to pull up. But like I said though, if you if you made it this far, link to the Discord is down in the description. You trying to run? I don't care what your win percentage is. I don't care about none of this stuff, man. I just want to play with y'all. Let's get together. Let's have some fun. And uh and, and, and let's do it. And uh whoever I blocked earlier, I'm gonna give you another shot, man. I'm gonna give you another matter of fact, I'm about to give you another shot right now, man. This is me. That was your homeboys, man. Players. How, how you do this shit? All friends. Uh how you look at uh menu options. Uh Look, I'm going to unblock you right now. But please don't come back with your homeboys on that bullshit, man. That's all I'm asking, bro. I don't even know how you do it. Look, look, this is, this is me being genuine right here. So you seem like a cool dude. Your homeboys is on that bullshit. I ain't going to hold you accountable. In the future, I might. But, but right now, I think you ain't had no bad intentions because you ain't say nothing at all. And you probably was like, damn, man, if I knew they was going to be on that bullshit, I never would have came. I never would. I thought they would just want to play and stuff like that, man. Hold on. Let me see. How the hell do you unblock somebody on here, man? Bro, I don't even know how to do. Oh, here we go. Block players. Check it out. Like, like I, don't, I don't know a lot of these guys, but I remember the name. Hey, look at Wisdom. Hey. I'm about to unblock you right now. Look at Look at Look at I'm gonna unblock you. And I'm gonna say, I know you weren't on that BS. Let's run sometime. Let's. I, I damn the abbreviation, damn the punctuation. Run. Look, I'm just gonna add you back. I know you went on that BS. And we just gonna go from there. Look, boom. Friend request is out. It's out there. If y'all wanna play, let me know, man. Y'all come through and play. If you don't want to play, that's cool too. We're going to find somebody to play with. But that, that's what my stream is going to be about from here on. If I'm not playing with T, I'm going to turn the stream on. The first few people to pull up, that's who we're going to play with. And then I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not going to take L's with y'all all night now. I'm going to tell you that right now. I ain't going to take no L's with y'all all night. But if it gets to the point where it's frustrating and all that stuff, then I'm just going to be like, hey, bro, uh, let's switch up the team. That's what we're going to do. And uh, I'm out of here till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. God speak! <laughs>